A lot of time students ask how to teach mathematics online and I was thinking that uh, there are a lot of videos already available so why should I make a video it's a very simple process uh, but then I decided to make this uh, video and in this video uh, I will show you that you only need two things to teach mathematics which will make your life easier and the first thing is a low priced tablet not iPad Pro or Samsung tablet which are very expensive but a very low price tablet which is Wacom Intuos and I will show you in a minute uh, my tablet and then the second thing you need is any whiteboard application and I have explained this in two of my other videos where I discussed various uh, whiteboard applications and their features which you can watch but in this video I will also show you another uh, whiteboard application which is from Microsoft and it is called Microsoft Whiteboard and with the help of these two things Wacom into a tablet and Microsoft Whiteboard you can teach mathematics very easily and this is what I am going to show you and in addition to these two if you have your PDFs your mathematics notes some graphs or some images don't throw those things because you can insert your images and your PDFs into Microsoft whiteboard and I'm going to show you how and then you don't need anything else and now I will show you my Wacom tablet and features of Microsoft whiteboard but if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday so let's jump right into it now before I start explaining Microsoft whiteboard which is open on my screen I would like to show you the tablet on which I will be writing so this is the tablet and we have a pen attached to this and I will be drawing on this tablet and showing you various features of Microsoft board and this tablet is Wacom WACOM now Wacom has many products and this specific product is called Intuos Photo as you can see that this is the box of this tablet and this is not very expensive like iPad Pro or Samsung tablets I bought this in around I think 120 Australian dollars and if you are using whiteboard for teaching mathematics I would suggest that you buy this tablet because it will be very easy for you to write math and now if I want to write on my whiteboard I would just write like normal you still need a little bit of practice but it's much better than writing with a mouse and now let's jump into Microsoft whiteboard features so I have installed this Microsoft whiteboard and if you have not installed then you click on the lower left corner of Windows 10 start and then you click on Microsoft store then this window will open and you click on productivity and in the search bar on the right hand side you type whiteboard it will show you couple of whiteboard applications and the first one is Microsoft whiteboard click on that and you will see this install because I have already installed so this install button quickly changes to launch but you click on install and when the application will be installed you will get this message on the left hand side and then you click on launch and you will be presented with this whiteboard and if you have closed this and you want to reopen just type whiteboard and when you start typing you will see this on the left hand side Microsoft whiteboard app click on that and it will open your Microsoft whiteboard so this is how you get started with Microsoft whiteboard the interface of Microsoft whiteboard is very simple but it has a lot of features I am logged into my Microsoft account I can switch account here or I can sign out on the left hand side I can invite someone and there is an arrow on the left side of whiteboard if I click on that arrow I can see all of my whiteboards which I have created and I can also create a new whiteboard I will be clicking on this one because this is the empty and the latest one and the first thing I would like to talk about is the background formatting your whiteboard need not to be necessarily of white color and you can change this by clicking on the setting menu and then format background here you can 
choose any color. So let's say we choose this green color. Then you have the option to get a dotted grid, a square grid, and there are some more grids available. So you can select any of these grids. I'm not going to select any grid and I'm going to go back to white color. So let's talk about the most important these four buttons. So active pen means that if I am using a tablet and I will be writing by using a pen, then I should turn on this button. Currently it's turned on. And if I am using mouse, then I should turn this off. And I will show you the difference. And if I draw anything with my pen, as you can see that I can do that. And I have just drawn an approximate parallelogram, but the software made this a perfect parallelogram. And this is because of ink to shape button turned on. If I turn this button off, then this button will also be turned off and you will understand in a minute why. And now if I draw an approximate parallelogram again, it will not be converted or any other shape. Let's draw a rectangle. It will not be converted. Even a circle will not be converted. So this is the purpose of this ink to shape button. But our discussion of active pen is not yet complete. If I turn this off, see what happens now. As you can see that now the drawing menu has disappeared. And if I click here, it will show me this message, switch to inking mode. And once I click here, now my pencils will appear and a blue tick sign will appear here. And it will show me done inking. And now I can use my mouse to draw anything. I just select a pencil here and I can draw whatever I want. But in order to go back to the other menu, I have to click on this tick and then I will get access to this menu. And this menu also has few options. Let's say I click on insert menu here. And as you can see that I have this very important text option. If I click here, I can add any text here. And if I click outside, text is there. I can click again with my mouse and I can move this text anywhere. Now, if I want to use my pen at this time, I can still use it. There is no problem. And once I put my pen on the drawing board, this menu will appear at the bottom. You can change the thickness. Let's say I select this pencil and then I click on this dot. Now I have these four sizes available and this is the maximum. If I click the minimum size and now if I write anything, it will be very thin. If you want to erase, this is the eraser. You click on that and then you can simply erase anything just like that. Now I am erasing with my pen at the moment. If I click on this menu again, as you can see that my active button is turned on as soon as I started using the pen. And now I will show you how to use the mouse. And now I turn this off, active pen is off. I click on this switch to inking mode option. Then I take the pencil and now I am using my mouse, which is very hard to write, but this is how you can write. And if I go back there, that switch is still turned off. And now for the rest of the video, I will be writing with my pen. And now let's turn this back on. Now this function has not turned on. Now let's take the black pen. And now this time I draw a rectangle. And if I draw another line here, nothing happens. But if this ink to table switch is on, see what happens. So I draw a rectangle here. And now if I draw a line in the middle, it will be converted to a table. And this is what ink to table means. So if I want to add a cell or a row, whatever you call it, I can click on plus sign, it will add another one. Now, if you want to increase the size of this cell, just don't start the line from the end. If you start anywhere from the middle, as you can see, it's going towards right. I can also move towards left. I can also go down like this. And the size of this cell is now changed. So this is ink to table feature. And now object snapping. Object snapping is currently on. 
And now let me clear this whiteboard. If I want, I can simply drag this like so and I have infinite space. But I just want to show you how to clear your canvas. So click on eraser and hold. You will see this clear canvas option. Simply click on that and now my canvas is clear again. So let's see what is snapping object. So let me take a black pen here and I draw any object. Then I draw a circle. Now if I click on this object and then I want to move this object as you can see that there are different snapping points where I can snap this object. I can snap on the middle at the top and it gives me few options. So what I am doing is I have pressed my left mouse button and I can drag this object just like that. Let me copy this object and then you can paste with control V and then if I click once on this object I will see this window then I click again and drag and this time as you can see it is showing me various option like this it's tangent similarly I can have exactly on top of that and then I can enlarge this like this so in this way I can draw some concentric circles if I want just like this as you can see both centers are matching so snapping is also available which is a fantastic feature for math teachers now the next is export so if I click on export I can export this in PNG format or in vector format which is SVG and vector format is also an image which you can insert in your presentations just like a picture and the advantage of SVG is that the vector format is better when you might have to change the size of the image because in PNG if you change the size sometimes your image get blurred the resolution will disturb but in SVG the sharpness of the image stays the same so very good format let's go back now the next button is toolbar location if I click on that I have three options left right and bottom currently the toolbar is at the bottom and note that there is a ruler here please note this and now I'm going to move this toolbar to my left side if I click left toolbar is on the left hand side but there is no ruler here so I'm not sure why this happens if you know the answer please put in the comments I think this is a bug in uh, this board that ruler just disappears even if I click right the toolbar is on the right but ruler is not there so in this way you can move this toolbar and now if you want to see the other toolbar you click on this plus sign and you will see the other option of this toolbar here for example if you want to write a text or you want to insert an image or you want to insert a PDF if I click on PDF it will give me this window and now I can select any PDF document and it will be inserted so let us insert an image these are some of my images so I can insert this image for example now this image is here I click on that and I can resize this I can rotate this whatever I want I can do with this image another option is sticky note you can just type anything here sticky note and if I click on this and then click on this icon I can select some other color if I want or I can delete copy edit and then there are three dots if I click on these I can put some alternate text so people who cannot see clearly I can put some explanatory text here if I click alternate text I can put this is a sticky note and whatever I want now if I click on this again I can click on camera if my camera is attached it will start using my camera and as you can see I can also insert a word document and a PowerPoint document let's go back to this menu once again now the next feature is clear canvas which I have already described then we have accessibility checker and if I click on that these are the three objects and accessibility checker means that there is no description attached to this if I click on this for example and I can add some text something like that 
and then it will show me saving and then saved. Now if I go back, I will see this tick mark. It means that there is some description attached to this. Let's go back. Now let's write something here, x plus y equals 10. And now this is the highlight tool. If I click here, and then I can simply use my pen to highlight any part of the text. And now if I click on this lasso select tool and then I make a circle here somewhere like this, it will detect these uh, text pieces here and I can delete, I can cut, copy, change the color and this last feature needs some other application connected to my Microsoft whiteboard. Uh, this is another feature available. So these are some features available. So it will select uh, these two text pieces and I can perform uh, these operations here. Let's say delete this, it will be deleted. So I think I have covered uh, all the features. If I have missed something, please put in the comments and uh, I might make another video or something if it is important. Otherwise I will reply to your comment and I will tell you how to use that. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.